everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Good afternoon, teacher. Okay. How are you guys? Thank you for joining. How are you? Are you okay? Are you happy? Are you fine? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, welcome back. I, I can I can see that I have a participants right today. Welcome. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I am in charge of the group. It's pre intermediate one, right? It's a pleasure to have you here, guys. I can see that I have Laura. I have Katiana. Uh, let's see who else. Susana, welcome, welcome to Pre-Intermediate One. Like I said before, my name is Hugo Vasquez and I am working with you in this new module. We're going to start soon. We're missing two more minutes. And I would like to know if you have any questions about the platform. Is everything okay? Do you start, do you start working on, on the platform? Si hay preguntas, quisiera saber antes de iniciar si cómo vamos con la plataforma, si iniciamos ayer. ¿Todo perfecto? Voy a... ¿Perdón? ¿Carolina? Todo bien. Excelente. Ok. Voy a pasar lista. Remember, once you listen to your name, say present, please. Present or here I am. Adam Patrice. Present. Thank you. Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Silvia. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth. I am here, teacher. Good. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth. Okay. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Thanks. Dalia Lilibet. Dalia Lilibet. Dora Alicia. Present. Here, Enrique Guevara. Enrique Guevara. Not here. Hazel. Present. Here. Jeremias Rivas. Not here. Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Here, Jose Mario. Jose Mario. Are you yet? Kenya Salina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Well, I can see Jeremias. Hello, Jeremias. Welcome. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm passing the attendance. So remember, <clears throat> as soon as you listen to your name, Say present. Jeremia Rivas? Present. Thank you. Lady Ulisa? I'm here. Thank you. Liliana Amelia? Liliana Amelia? Don't hear you yet. Marina Sanabrio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Albino, by the way, I, I am curious. I, ha I haven't noticed that I have two Ricardos. I'm here. Le let me know, please. No sé si estoy eh, mal, pero ayer vi dos personas que tienen el mismo nombre, Ricardo Albino. No sé si son hermanos. 
Sí, solo que había el nombre de mi hermana había parecido igual al mío. Pero oh. él se llama Leonel. Sí, Leonel. Un error. Sí. Ok, ok. Perfecto. ¿Está por acá él? ¿Es cierto, Leonel? Eh, intentando entrar está. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Perfecto. Thank you. Ok. Eh, we have, a, you know, I can see new participants in, in the meeting. I think yesterday you, you couldn't join the, the meeting, right? Thank you so much for joining. My name is Hugo Vasquez and I am in charge of the group, which is, a, you know, module three intermediate one, right? Um, I can see uh, Tatiana. You know, I have a, I have a, an attendance list because I want to have the control in this case. And that's why I'm passing the attendance right now, right? Um, just in order for, you know, to be, you know, in order, everything is going to be in order and I have to have the control, right? In this case. All right, um, I will continue. Sandra Melissa. Sandra Melissa. Present teacher. Present Thank teacher. You. Saraya Esther. Present teacher. Soraya Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Isabel. Stephanie Elizabeth. It's not here yet. Okay. Vanessa? Vanessa de Angeles? Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, I have Fana. Fana Carolina? Present teacher. Here. Tatiana? Present Maria. teacher. Thank you. Um, I can see Leonel. Hello, Leonel. Leonel Hernandez? Sí, present. Thank you. Um, ¿Qué más se vi por acá? Oh, Laura. Oh, Laura. Laura, sorry. I'm here. Thank you. Ok, ¿quién más se nos une este día? Perdón. Oh, Sam. No, Sandra ya lo vio. ¿Quién más? Good afternoon, Tisha. I'm here. Hello, Liliana. Good. Thank you for joining. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello. Yes, Alba, yeah, I can see you. Thank you for joining, Alba. Patricia? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más se nos, se nos acaba de unir? Vamos, ¿quién más? Teacher, sí, I'm present. Dalia. Dalia, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dalia. It's nice meeting you. Okay, let's see. I think everybody is here. Okay, we're going to start everybody uh, for the ones that join us today. Thank you so much for being here first. My name is Hugo Vasquez and I am, go I am going to be working with you in pre-intermediate one. Yesterday we began right with the module. Today we continue and we will have the second class, right? Uh, let me display the presentation. Okay, like I said before, that's my name. My name is Hugo Vasquez. I repeated my name in case, you know, you have some doubts. And I'm going to be with you in this course, right? Which is pre-intermediate one. Um, yesterday I was asking if we have some new participants in the module, in the program. Is this your first time? I mean, talking about Susana, Alba, Laura. Esa es su primera vez que se unen a, al programa o ya venían desde el módulo anterior, de los módulos anteriores. Ya, ya tengo, este sería el cuarto módulo, teacher. Oh, perfecto. Yo igual, teacher. Perfecto. Yo igual, teacher. Excelente, que okay. estamos... En ese caso, estamos familiarizados ya con la plataforma. Hacía la pregunta para, por si alguien es, se nos unía por primera vez, pues explicarles cómo tra se, se trabaja, ¿verdad? En ese caso, desde la plataforma. 
pero veo que la mayoría, pues, bueno, ayer estuvimos explicando porque creo que tenemos como una o dos personas que se nos generan eh, ese día, o como he dicho, para ese programa, para ese módulo, se nos unieron por primera vez. Así es que ayer estuve explicando cómo vamos a estar este, trabajando desde la plataforma. Pues creo que ya iniciamos. Ellos estaban preguntando, haciendo consultas en, en el grupo WhatsApp. Eso es muy bueno. Si ustedes tienen alguna, alguna pregunta, alguna consulta o algo que les ha generado duda, no olviden en escribir, ya sea por WhatsApp, por grupo WhatsApp o si usan de forma personal, no hay ningún problema. Yo estoy siempre disponible y con gusto les puedo ayudar. Igual, en clase ustedes pueden hacer sus preguntas, sus consultas, en caso tengan um, alguna duda con respecto a la plataforma. Recuerden que hay que ir, hago el recordatorio nuevamente, ayer lo mencionaba, hay que ir avanzando en la plataforma. Ya debemos de iniciar y si queremos ir avanzando, avanzar mucho más, podemos hacerlo. Ustedes no tienen ninguna restricción, pueden hacerlo, siéntanse libre en hacerlo y obviamente la idea es esto es practicar y, y después aprender mucho más. Es que podemos ir avanzando. Ahorita estamos iniciando con la primera sección y primera semana. Probablemente alguien se nos adelante o algunos se nos adelanten a la sección 2. No hay ningún problema. Puede hacerlo sé, sin ningún inconveniente. Eh, e igual, si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a algún ejercicio en, en sí, usted pues, puede hacer su pregunta. Por WhatsApp. Esa es en nuestra vía de comunicación o acá en clase. Ustedes lo deciden, ¿ok? Entonces, es que repito esa información para que estemos todos al tanto, ya que ya lo, lo sabemos, ¿verdad? La mayoría, pero hay que siempre, pues, ser precavidos y siempre mencionar las cosas para que todo esté pues, en orden y esté claro. Entonces, es que, repito, podemos ir avanzando y recuerden que hacemos el midterm exam y el final exam al final. El midterm exam es el que se hace en la segunda semana. Sí, en la segunda semana okay. eh, sería al finalizar la sección 3, ¿verdad? Y luego el final exam es el que se hace en la última semana. Que sería la semana 4. Entonces, cuatro semanas, 16 clases. ¿verdad? Entonces, que les decía ayer, vamos de miércoles a martes por las semanas, porque como iniciamos ayer miércoles, eh, vamos a ir así de miércoles a martes. Por lo general, vamos de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Pero como iniciamos miércoles, vamos de miércoles a martes. Miércoles a martes. Así es que ese día, pues, terminamos, digamos así, una semana. Que vamos de que las clases son de lunes a jueves. Eh, mañana sería libre. Y nos volver volveríamos a incorporar o a reunirnos el próximo lunes. Eh, ahí sí, iríamos ya lunes, de lunes a jueves. Según una semana. Pero en ciencia sí, vamos a ir de miércoles a martes. Es que Richard, no, pues, dígame, dígame. Eh, ¿Ya podemos descargar el material? Y bueno, ya que lo mencionó, ayer eh, les decía, les recordaba en la clase, y pero probablemente quizás no, no sé, no me escucharon esa parte, lo repito, no se preocupen. Y para ese programa, eh, creo que se los habían mencionado ustedes, eh, eh, si tuvieron la reunión con las autoridades de inglés cooperativo, cuando nos reunieron, probablemente les mencionaron de que para ese programa no utilizamos manual. No hay, no hay un manual, un libro que se va a descargar. Todo va a ser desde la plataforma. Ese va a ser su manual, la plataforma. Aquí ustedes saben que aquí están los objetivos, aquí están los, los videos informativos con respecto a los contenidos. ¿Okay? Así es que vamos a trabajar, nos vamos a seguir solo en la plataforma. No hay un manual en ese caso, para descargarlo o que vamos a estar utilizando. Okay, así es que esa es la información que les compartí ayer, lo repito ese día. Por si hay dudas, pues en ese caso, pues es lo que me, en, a mí me indican y yo los lo transmito. ¿verdad? En caso quieren ustedes preguntar por qué o que no hemos utilizado el manual, pues ahí sí les, les quedo mal y les, ya quedaría en ustedes pues preguntar en ese caso a una autoridad en inglés corporativo. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Y no sé si hay más preguntas, no iniciamos. No. No, teacher. Ok. Recuerden. No question. Thank you. Recuerden, si creen que voy muy rápido, me avisan. 
no tengan pena a uh, interrumpirme incluso. Ustedes sigan, ¿ok? Let's begin. This is class number two, pre-intermediate one. Again, my name is Hugo Vasquez. Uh, the topic for today is the statements with B in possessive adjectives. Today is Thursday, July 15th. And this is what we have for today, right? That is the main topic. The statements with B in possessive adjectives. Moving on. Let's begin with statements with B. I mean, let's talk about the verb to be. Do you remember what is the verb to be? Who knows or who remembers what is a bird to be? I am. I am. You are. She is. He is. It is. We are. They are. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. We have three forms, right? With the verb be. Am, or is. Am, is, or. You know. Whatever. Am, is, or. So those are the the three forms of the verb be. The verb be, right? Am, um, is, are. And we use them with different pronouns or di different subjects, as we say, right? So we say, I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are, you are. That's the way we structure the verb be, right? You can say, I am Hugo. He is Ricardo, right? He is Laura. It is a cat or it is a car. We are friends. We are a class, right? I mean, they are students. They are my family, etc. So that's the way we include or we use the verb be, right? I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are, and you are, right? Remember the three forms of the verb be? Am, um, are, is. Those are the three forms of the verb be, okay? And we tend to say that this is a, a link. This is a link verb. Why? Because we can use the verb be with nouns. We can use the verb be with adjectives. We can use the, the verb be with prepositional phrases, etc. For example, when you say, I am a student, this is the verb be is a company of a noun. This is a noun. Or when you say he is happy. So here the verb be is linked with an adjective. So the adjective is happy, right? Or if you say a prepositional phrase, as we saw yesterday, we can say she is from Colombia. So from Colombia, that is a prepositional phrase, right? That's the way we use the verb be. I am a student. He is happy. He is from Colombia. Right? This is the way we structure the verb be. And of course, we can use some uh, contractions, right? I am, you are, he is, she is, they are, those are long forms, long forms. We can use contractions. You can say, am, Hugo. Am equals I am. Am equals I am. Am, Hugo. Am, an English facilitator. He is equals he is. He is equals he is. He is Jose Mario, right? He is Alexander. He is 
from Brazil. Another one is chis. Chis. Chis equal he is. He is. He is. Caray. He is from the United States. We're. We're. We're equals we are. We are. We're a class. We're friends. We're a family. We are, right? Another one, there. 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 There equals they are. There, my friends. There, my brothers. There, Soraya and Ricardo, for example. Right? There, from El Salvador. Okay, that's the verb be. Am, or, is. I am, he is, she is, it is, they are, we are, you are. And we can use the contractions. We can use the contractions, right? Any questions so far? No teacher. No teacher. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. No question. Amazing. Thank you. Let's continue with the possessive adjectives. Do you know possessive adjectives? Possessive adjectives? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, let, 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 let's begin. Sorry, let's begin. Let's clarify. Let's begin with subject pronouns or personal pronouns. Do you know what are the subject pronouns? I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Those are the subject pronouns, right? Or personal pronouns. Related to that, or if we have that as a reference, the subject pronouns or personal pronouns, we can relate the subject, the subject pronouns to the possessive adjectives, okay? So mm -hmm. a possessive adjective or the possessive adjectives modify the noun, the noun following it, right? in order to show possession. So when we use a possessive adjective, we demonstrate or we show possession, possession, right? So these are, those are the possessive adjectives. And we make the relation, right? My, I'm sorry, I, that is a subject pronoun, and we say my. She, that is a subject pronoun, we say her. She, yeah. her. He, such a pronoun, he, we say his. his. It, we say he. its. It's. You, mm -hmm. that is a such a pronoun, we say your. 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 They, such a pronoun, we say their. That is supposed to say adjective. Their. Yeah. Their. Their. And the last one is we, that is such a pronoun. The possessive adjective is our, 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 right? Those are the possessive adjectives. Again, when we say or when we use the possessive adjective, it's because we show or we demonstrate possessions, right? For example, if I say my cell phone is new, for example, my is mine, right? This is my cell phone, my. My cell phone is new. My cell phone is new. This is the possessive adjective, my. So I'm saying, I'm saying a possession. My belonging, my possession. This is my possession, my cell phone, right? My cell phone is new and we include the verb be, right? Use the verb be too. Use the verb be. 
my cell phone is new, right? You can give more examples with possessive adjectives. For example, if we talk about someone in specific, let's say that we are talking about, let's say, uh, Alexander, right? So we want to talk about Alexander's possessions, right? So I'm going to refer to his computer, for example. His computer is amazing. Okay, so now we're talking about Alexander. Let's say Alexander, okay? So we're talking about Alexander's possession. So what is Alexander's possession? The computer. His computer is amazing. Amazing, right? What about if I want to talk about um, a woman, right? For example, a woman. Let's talk about, let's see, let's mention, this is just an example, yeah. right? I'm sorry? Listen to someone? No, okay. Let's imagine that we're talking about, let's see, lady, right? Let's talk about lady, okay? Um, yeah. Let me see. Let's talk about ladies. Hey, ladies. Um, house. Let's talk about ladies' house. Okay, her house is is big, right? So this is ladies. Ladies' possession. Ladies' possession. Her house is big. No te vas a we Dile. know that we're referring to ladies possession, right? Ladies possession. So what is ladies possession, guys? What is ladies possession? Her house. house. Her yeah. house. Her house. Her house is big. I'm sorry, who's the teacher? Uh, what is ladies? Oh, I mean, we're talking about our classmate, the participant. Lady. Uh, esa es la forma de escribirlo. Uh, when, we, when, we, when we know the person, when we know the person in this case, like I said before, we're talking about lady. So this is just an example, okay? This is just an example. So we're talking about ladies, ladies house. Es una participante del programa. Sí, exacto, es una participante del programa. Her house is big. Her house is big. So what is the possession? What is lady's possession? The house. Her house is big. The same with the previous one, right? With Alexander. What is Alexander's possession? The computer. His computer is amazing. We know that we're talking about Alexander, right? Alexander's possession. In the other one, we're talking about lady's possession. Lady's, pos lady's possession is the house. Her house is big, right? This is the way we use the possessive adjectives. Okay. Questions right here. Preguntas, dudas. No question, teacher. No question. Amazing. Thank you. No teacher. Very good. Very good. Moving on. Let's go to the following bar. Now let, let me give you some examples with the verb be, statements with be. For example, when you say I'm from El Salvador, I am from El Salvador, right? That's a statement with be. What is the verb be? What is the verb be? Um, 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 yeah, um, very good. I'm, very good, um. The verb be is um. Remember, we structure in this way, subject plus verb be. So it can be um, are, or is, plus a compliment. So again, I say, I am from El Salvador. This is the subject, the pronoun in this case, the verb be, this is a compliment. I'm from, or I am from El Salvador, right? This is the first example. Second, 
He is from the United States. He is from the United States. He is from the United States. What is the verb be here? He is. Is. He is. 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 Yeah, when we is. say he is, we have the subject and the verb be, but right now just the verb be. The verb be is. 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 He is from the United States. He is from the United States. Again, subject, verb, and the complement. He is from the United States. Not example. She is from Colombia. He is from Colombia. So, what is the verb? What is the verb be, guys? Is. 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 Exactly. He is from Colombia. So, let's analyze the example. She is from Colombia. That's a compliment. Another one. You're a new student. You're a new student. You are a new student. What is the verb be here? Um, are, yes. That is the other one. Verb be, are. And we say you are a new student. Subject, verb be, and the complement. You are a new student. Let's go with another example. We're a family. We're a family. Again, what is the verb be, guys? Uh, are. 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 Very good. So let's analyze the example. We are a family. We are a family. We, so that's our, our subject. Verb be, and this is a compliment. We are a family, right? This is the way we construct statements with the verb be, guys. With the verb be. Okay. Any questions over here? Any questions here? No, teacher. No question. Okay. No teacher. okay. Well, listen. This is the affirmative form, right? Because we have different forms when we are using the verb be. This is the affirmative form, affirmative. Let me show you how we structure the negative form. This is affirmative. Let's talk about negative now. With negative, negative form, what we do is that we include after the verb be, we have a subject plus the verb be, it can be am, are, or is. After that, we have not, not, and we have a complement. That's what we do, or that is the change that we make, right? So now we can say, for example, I am from, I'm sorry, I am not from Brazil. This is a way. I am not. I am not from Brazil. This is a way. Another one we can say, he is not a doctor. He's not a doctor. He is not a doctor. And another one, we can say they are not their friends. They are not friends. They are not friends. Okay? Uh, of course, we can use contractions with the negative form too. Yes, we can. Let me show you how. Contractions for negative form. Uh, we say, We say, and we say, I'm not, 
am not equals I am not. And we use the isn't equals he is not. And we say they aren't, we say they are not. This is a way for contractions in negative form. I'm not, I'm not from Brazil. He isn't, he is not. She isn't a doctor. They aren't equals they are not. They aren't friends. They aren't friends. Okay? Those are the contractions for negative, for negative form. Right? Any questions here? No question, teacher. Amazing. Thank you. No question, teacher. Good, good. Okay, now let me give you some examples with the possessive adjectives. And remember, we have possessive adjectives and we include the verb be. So here we have some examples with the possessive adjectives. Remember the possessive adjectives are, listen and repeat, my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. Again, my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. And we have the examples. Teacher, and yes. sorry, and pronunciation is our. 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 Okay. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else? Questions about the pronunciation of the, the positive adjectives? No question, teacher. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. Let me give you the examples now. Okay, remember, when we use the possessive adjectives, it's because we're referring to possessions. For example, my possessions, well, I have some possessions here, right? My possessions are, again, my cell phone, my computer, my TV, my room, my, clo my clothes, in this case, my shirts, my jeans. Those are my possessions, right? Of course, we refer to them it depends on what we want to talk about, right? So right now, I will give you some examples. My, my shirt is green. For example, right now, my shirt, my shirt is white, right? My shirt is white. Your book is new. Probably I'm referring to someone specifically, right? So I'm saying, imagine that I'm having a conversation with Jeremias, right? And I say, Jeremias, your book is new. Your book is new, right? Your book is, is new. So I'm referring to Jeremias possession, right? So the possession is his book. Your book is new, right? The other one, his pillow is soft. His pillow is soft. Next. Her dog is small. Her dog is small. Probably we're talking about someone, right? Let's talk about someone in here. One participant. For example, let me see. Um, Kenya, do you have a dog? Yes. Yeah, okay. Not. No, no. Do you have a cat? Yes. Okay, so imagine that we're talking about Kenya, right? So we know that Kenya has a cat. Kenya has a cat, okay? So we can say her cat is cute. Okay, so here we're referring to Kenya. Kenya's, Kenya's cat. Cat. So that is her possession, right? Yeah, her cat is cute. So that is Kenya's possession cat. 
right? Her cat is cute. But here we have her dog is small. It, so in this case, we're referring to, remember that we use it for things, animals, objects, right? It, the pronoun it, remember that we use it for animals. We can talk about objects, um, probably things in general, etc. And the possessive adjective is it, right? It. Imagine that we're talking about a dog, right? A dog. So we can say its bone is old, right? So here we're talking about the dogs. The dogs. Dog profession. What is it that the dog's profession? The bone. Do you know what is a bone? Do you know what is a bone? Hueso. Exactly. It's a hueso. It's bone, it's old. Because we're referring to the dog's possession. The dog's possession is the bone. Okay. Next. Sure. Yes, sorry. Alexander? Uh, sorry, I have a question. In, in the word, for example, dogs or uh, or in plural, uh, the the letter, the letter the final letter is is an S. Uh, how can I uh, do this contraction? Okay. In plural yeah. with an with with a. Like this? Okay. Huh? You know, as I said, as I said yesterday. This is a possessive with S, when we use that, that little apostrophe. This is an apostrophe. It's an apostrophe, right? An apostrophe. Lo utilizamos para hablar de posesiones también. That's a possessive with S. We can use this form or we can use this form. Podemos utilizar estas dos formas. Va a depender del, del sustantivo, del now. So in this case, if the now is plural, as you said, Alexander, the apostrophe goes at the end. The dog's bones are old. Uh, okay. Mm. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. If it is in singular, you say the dog's bone is old. This is singular. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for asking. Our. Let's continue with our. Our bird is noisy. For example, in your houses, I know that most of you have a pet, right? You have a dog, you have a cat, you have a parrot, etc. Porque la mayoría tenemos mascotas por en nuestras casas. Yeah, because we're talking about our family, so we say we, right? My family and I, we. We, so that is the subject pronoun and the possessive adjective is our. For example, our bird is noisy. Or you can say our, our car is um, fast. Our, cat, our car is fast. So in my family, we have a car. So that is our possession. Our car is fast, okay? My family and I, our car. So this is our possession. Our car is us, right? We will use our. Your, your house is big. Your house, house is, big. is big, yes. In the last one, their car is slow. Their car is slow. Right? So in this case, we're referring to uh, other people, right? Probably I'm referring to another, I would say family or some friends probably, my friends, their car is slow. So my friend's car is slow. I'm referring to that, okay? This is the way guys, we use possessive additives and we use the statements with the or the verb, right? Any questions? No, teacher. No question. Okay. ¿Y cómo vamos, por cierto? No sé si voy muy rápido. It's good, teacher. No, okay. teacher. Okay. Perfect. Así está bien. 
It's a All great right. teacher. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. No questions? No more questions? No, 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 no. Okay. Moving on to the following part. We're going to practice a little bit. Listen, listen to the explanations. Look at the examples shown. Write at least six sentences by using the verb be in possessive adjectives. In your notebooks, I need you to write at least six sentences by using the verb be in possessive adjective. Okay? You're gonna work right now. I'm gonna give you some time. In your notebooks, please write those sentences. And I need you to use the verb be. The verb be, am, um, are, or is in the possessive adjectives. For example, you can follow these examples. My computer is new and black. So you can identify the possessive adjectives in red, and you can identify the verb be in purple, right? In purple. My computer is new and black. His father is from Brazil. He is an excellent teacher. Her brother is a doctor. They are great soccer players. And my grandparents are from Mexico. Okay? Follow those six examples, please. Follow those examples. And now you, in your notebooks, write six sentences by using the verb be and possessive adjectives. Let's go. I will give you five minutes for this exercise. And then we're going to share some examples for the class, right? Let's go. If you need some help, if you need to ask some questions, let me know and I can give you a hand. Hmm? Let's go. As soon as you finish, please, don't forget to raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Si hemos terminado, levantemos nuestra mano, please. Oh, by the way, I can see Eric, Eric Xavier Rivas. Hello, Eric. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In this case, I apologize to you because I have acknowledged that you were here. But this is your first time that, I mean, this is your first class, right? Because yesterday you couldn't join us. Is this your first yes. time in the program, Eric? Es su primera vez en el programa? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. O ya estaba desde los módulos anteriores. No, ya estaba desde los módulos ah. anteriores. Perdón. Ok. Excelente. Solo que se nos suena es este día, ¿verdad? Por primera, primera vez. Sí, ayer no pude. Estuve en un, unos inconvenientes por ahí, pero ya listo. Excelente. Thank you for joining. My name is Hugo Vázquez, by the way. Sorry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. I finished, teacher. Good. Thank you. Just give me a second. Alguien más que se haya unido después para revisar. Oh, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Well, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Okay, no sé si eso de Stephanie 
en Eric, no sé si escucharon toda la explicación. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Y, por cierto, disculpen la interrupción. Y los que se nos unieron ese día, no sé si ya se unieron al grupo WhatsApp. En el caso de yes. Eric, yeah, Susana. Yes, teacher. ¿Todos se han incluido? Se han incluido perdón. Yes, teacher. Voy a compartir por cualquier cosa en el chat. Nuevamente, ayer lo compartí. Por si alguien no se ha incluido. Voy a compartir en el chat el link para poder unirse al grupo de WhatsApp en caso alguien no lo haya hecho todavía. Voy a compartir y ustedes solo le, le dan clic para poder unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí te lo comparto. I'm finished, teacher. Thank you. Finished, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, listen. I know that most of you are about to finish with the activity. What we do... Finish. Okay, thanks. Uh, what we are going to do is the following. Listen, we're going to work in the breakout rooms. We're going to work in groups or in trios, I think, because you are 27. We're going to work in, in trios in the breakout rooms. I will give you a specific time, right, in, in the breakout rooms. And you have to share the examples that you wrote, right, to your classmates. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. No sé si alguien y no sabe de esta función, Breaker Rooms, todos estamos familiarizados con la función. Breaker Rooms, ¿todos la conocemos? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. ¿Hay alguien que sea la primera vez que la escucha o...? Yo, yo no la he utilizado, teacher. Eh, Dígame su nombre, perdón. Alexander. Alexander, ok. Ok, les explico. En los breaker rooms, lo que hacemos es que hay salas privadas. Voy a crear grupos, en este caso tríos, son 27, creo que voy a crear nueve, nueve grupos. Los voy a crear automáticamente, porque si los creo manualmente, pues, recuerden que ya va a ser de tiempo. Los voy a crear manualmente, vamos a trabajar en tríos, voy a tener nueve tríos. Y ustedes en los grupos van a discutir, van a, en este caso, a dar sus ejemplos a sus compañeros. Ellos les van a escuchar y así vamos a estar Haciendo el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Uno va a decir primero sus ejercicios, luego otra persona y por último, el último participante, ¿verdad? Así que, ¿ustedes van a estar en esa sala privada? ¿Ustedes tres? ¿Solo ustedes tres? Y les voy a dar un cierto tiempo para le, la, el ejercicio en cuanto estemos listos todos. Y luego vamos a regresar. La videoconferencia, la clase en general, va a quedar en espera. Cuando ustedes hayan terminado en, esa, en esas salas privadas el ejercicio, Vamos a regresar todos acá. ¿Ok? Así es como funciona para, Breaker Rooms. ¿Perdón? ¿Perdón? ¿Y para entrar y salir a esa sala privada? Yo les voy acá um, a... Ah, voy okay. a empezar las la salas privadas. Yo lo voy a empezar. Ustedes Muy probablemente bien, reciban alguna notificación. ¿sí? De acuerdo, gracias. Excelente. ¿Estás listo, chicos? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Sí. 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 X151. I will give you around seven, from seven to let's say 10 minutes in case we have an inconvenience, right? Les voy a dar de 10, perdón, de 7 a 10 minutos para el ejercicio, por si hay algún inconveniente, etc. Para que ustedes, pues, logren entrar a las, a las salas privadas y empiecen a discutir o empiecen a mencionar o a expresar sus ejemplos, papá. Eh, I will give you until, um, let's see, 
until until 1 57 58 okay and then we're going to go back all right ready okay teacher okay ready 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 yeah. okay very good okay lo voy a crear automáticamente porque si lo creo manualmente nos va a llevar tiempo entonces igual lo que quiero es que interactúen ¿verdad? con sus compañeros you're going to interact with your classmates and of course, you're going to express examples that you wrote, right? Let's begin. I'm going to create first the, the groups. I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, your, the participants or, you know, the group that you have in this case, the participants that are in. In the first room, I have Claudia Lisset, uh, Joanna Raquel, and Katiana Maria. In the second room, I have Claudia Elizabeth, Jeremias Rivas, Marina Sanabria. Room number three, I have Dalia Lilibet, Eric Xavier, Liliana Amelia. In la, room number four, I have Kenya Salina, Soraya Lisbeth, Susana Carolina. In room number five, I have Adam, Carolina Elizabeth, and Sarai Steer. Room number six, I have Alba, Patricia, Dora Alicia, Ricardo Albino. Room number seven, I have Alexander Marroquin, Ana Silvia, Stephanie Isabel. Room number eight, Leonel Hernandez, Lady Yulisa, Vanessa de Angeles. In the last one, I have Laura Pertila, Sandra Melissa, and Saray Esther Portionerio. Por acá la vi arriba también. Sí, la tengo dos veces. Voy a moverla de acá. En el último grupo, quizás. Uh... A ver, a ver si puedo removerla de acá. Vale, se quiero ver. La 5. Por eso será esto. Es lo mismo. No sé por qué me apareció dos veces. Ok. En la última sala tenemos solo Laura y Sandra. Ok. Sandra Melissa. We're going to start. I will open all rooms and you're going to be in. Ok. Let's begin. You have from seven to 10 minutes. Let's go. I think I'll get an invitation or notification. Let's go. Tengo las mías, si quieren empiezo yo. Ok, ¿es everybody here, right? Pues, perdón. Okay. Eh, todos estamos acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, let's go. Let's continue working. Let's go. Ok, si quieren empiezo yo. Okay. Number one, my brother. Number two, my sister. Tengo, eh, this is my pictures. Eh, these are your shoes. She is my friend. He is from Canada. Our house is small.
Hey, Enrique. Hola, buenas tardes. Hello, how are you? Hello, uh, I'm good. Okay, uh, listen, your classmates are working on uh, some exercises. Uh, we're going okay. to go back soon in a few minutes. Okay, and, okay. And uh, what's the problem? Yeah, so we're using the verb be in processing mm -hmm. additives. Okay. Let me show you. So they okay. are working on, on this. Oh, okay, okay. So they are using this, they use they use this example, sorry, and they are they roll, sorry, sentences by using the verb be and possessive adjectives. Right okay. now they are working in the breakout rooms and they are expecting yeah, I got a uh, notification in yeah in the screen. Yes, uh, listen, Bye. we're going to go back in a few minutes. Vamos a regresar en, en unos minutos. Ahí van a regresar okay. a la conferencia. Así es que en el caso que casi vamos a finalizar con la, con la meeting, lo que les recomiendo es que recuerde ver la caso en video ¿verdad? y okay. hacer el ejercicio, ¿ok? No se preocupe. Sí, es que no me puede conectar, vengo saliendo del seguro. Ahí. Oh, I see, I see, no problem. Thank you. Perfecto. Thank you. Okay. Liliana, have you finished? Yes, teacher, I finished. Thank you. Okay, we're going back. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Perfect, perfect. How was activity, guys? How was activity? Was it good? The activity was amazing. Good. good. That's awesome. Very, very funny. Very, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, good, good. Thank you. All right. We will continue with, you know, the, that's the last part, but I want to listen to some of you, right? the exercises that you wrote just a few minutes more uh let me display the presentation okay remember we were a uh, writing we were writing some exercises about the verb be and possessive adjective so you were supposed to go to the breaker rooms and express or share the examples that you wrote right uh, i will listen just to a few participants I need you to tell us the, the examples that you wrote, please. And yeah, what about the finish? We're missing just a couple of minutes. Um, do we have a volunteer for the sentences? I'm here, teacher. Sandra, okay. Sandra, <laughs> Melissa, can you help us, please? Can you mention or express your sentences, please? Okay. Uh... My pencil is large and yellow. La say le leo, teacher. Give me two, three, okay. three examples. Okay. okay, repeat please. Number one, my pencil is large, large and yellow. Number two, her father is from China. Number three, she's she's a pretty woman. Yes, that's amazing. Gracias. Thank you, thank you too. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with. You're welcome, teacher. Yeah, I think Sarah, you want to help us, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you tell us three examples, Sarah? Can you express three examples? Yes. Thank yes. you. Her book is in the table. My car is black, his hair is blonde. Only three, teacher? Yes, okay. very good, thank you. I just remember okay. with 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 the first one, Soraya, her book is on the table, on the table. Oh, okay. On instead of in. in. Okay. Yeah. On the table. Yes. 
Because if you say okay. in, it's because uh, the book is inside, inside of something, inside, dentro de algo. In. Ah, okay. This case is on, on the table. On, sobre, uh -huh. yeah. sí, sí, sobre la mesa. Very good, Saraya. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Anytime. Another participant. Three examples, please. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Uh, yeah. Dora, Dora Alicia, let's go. My dress is black. She is a beautiful girl. Yeah. Your table is a very clean. It's very clean. It's very clean. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Dora. Great examples. Thank you for sharing. Anytime. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Kenya. Let's go, Kenya, please. My notebook is new. His brother is my best friend. My cat is funny. Yes. Thank you. That's wonderful. Another participant? Me, teacher. Thanks. Susanna, please. Yeah. We are playing tennis. My cell phone is black. My book is new and green. Yes. It, with the first one, Susanna, do you say we are playing tennis? Yeah, we are playing tennis. Okay. Like this, Susanna, we are playing tennis. Playing. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Anybody else? One more, one more participant. Me? Okay, Ana Silvia, please give us three examples. Three examples. Uh, his hair is straight. Her food is delicious. Um, its food is not good. It's not good, okay? Yes. Very good, thank you. Okay, one more, one more participant. Last one. Carolina, Thanks. teacher. Carolina, yeah, please, let's go. This is my picture. Yeah. Uh, she is my friend. Our house is small. Yeah, our house, repeat again, Carolina, our house. Our house. Our house. Yeah. Is a small. A small. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carolina. Okay. okay. Well, everybody, we're going to stop right here. I would like to know if you have any questions about the verb to be and possessive adjectives. Is everything clear? It's clear. It's Amazing. clear. Yeah. Okay, well, listen up. Eh, just a few more things. Eh, recuerden los que probablemente se unan un poquito, un poquito tarde. Uh, recuerden que el video se va a estar subiendo. Así es que para que empecemos al día, cualquier cosa, recuerden, ingresemos al canal de YouTube. Canal de YouTube, ahí vamos, se van a estar subiendo los videos. Eh, recuerden que ahí se les compartió en, en toda la información que se les dio el, el módulo, que es pre-intermedio 1. Ahí tienen todos los enlaces para que ustedes puedan acceder a, ya sea al grupo WhatsApp, por ejemplo, o al grupo, en este caso, al canal de YouTube. Okay. Cualquier cosa, si no lo tienen o si no lo encuentran, o probablemente o sea, no recibieron la información, no, la mayoría sí lo recibió, eh, cualquier cosa me dicen por... WhatsApp, que les puede compartir cualquier enlace, ¿verdad? Así es que recuerden continuar trabajando con la plataforma, digamos, y no tenemos ninguna restricción, podemos seguir avanzando como lo que he mencionado ayer y ahora. Y cualquier cosa, hacemos siempre la orden, ustedes solo me, me contactan y un placer. Bueno, well, everybody, we're going to start okay, right here because it's okay, time. Teacher. Thank you so much again. Bye. I will see you next week. Thank you so week. much, teacher. Next Thank week. you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.
Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice weekend.